Academy. I want us to recognize these outstanding students, am I right? Fans and choir, let's give them another big hand and applause. It's always an honor and a pleasure for me to introduce the school officials on the podium. And at this time, I'd like to introduce the administrative staff first, Mr. Kenny Kenny, to our principal. Greg Lawson, our assistant principal, and that newest member to administrative staff is Carol Santuzzi, our assistant superintendent. Let's give them a big hand. Also, the school district has, a, has had a very successful and rewarding year. You know, I really can't count the ways. It's just awesome number of ways that the school has been successful. I want to take this opportunity to thank the gentlemen that's on our school board for their expertise, their hard work, their dedication, and especially their leadership in making the Monticello School District the best it can be. Could I introduce your name? Could you stand and Hold your applause till I finish. Mr. Lee Busby, our president. Mr. Keith Wells, our vice president. Mr. Kenny Hasham. Mr. Kurt Preston. And Dr. Michael Curie. Let's give them a big hand. seniors over here, I think the future holds success, success for a lot of us. The best thing about the future is that it comes upon us by degrees, a day at a time. The future sets us up for success. Principal Pennington, administrators, members of the school board, teachers, parents, family, friends, and fellow graduates, I'd like to thank all of you for coming to this very special event in our lives. Now, I'd like to start off by gloating a little bit. We're kind of awesome. We're a good class. Just ask anybody. In our tenure here at Monticello High School, we've won a state championship in football. There we go. You can clap. <laughs> and we brought nearly every other sport to their respective tournaments as well. All right. We've also excelled academically, proving to be one of the smartest class to come through Monticello High School. Just ask all the teachers. They'll say the same thing. <laughs> I've seen these students over here in many different ways. In sports gear, cheer and palm uniforms, and of course, appropriate school wear. <laughs> I've even seen guys wearing dresses on occasion. Yeah, I was one of those guys. <laughs> now I look around and see all of them, all of you young people in caps and gowns, waiting for me to stop talking so you can graduate already. Sorry guys, I'm getting there. First, I'd like to thank a few people responsible for getting us to this point. I'd like to thank the leaders of this school, Mr. Pennington, Mr. Laughlin, and of course, Coach McMurray. For keeping us young people in line all these years. They really are great. I'd also like to thank our wonderful teachers here for giving us a bright path to walk on as we move on in life. Those teachers really are amazing. And I'm not just saying that because my mom's a teacher. <laughs> you can't forget the rest of the faculty either. Miss Donna and Miss Tilly, our counselors, the great office ladies, and everyone else who works to make our learning environment all the better for us. 
I'd like to thank our friends and family for making all of this possible for us and helping us along the way. And finally, I'd like to thank God for staying with this class and keeping us together during this part of our lives and helping us to this point and beyond. All right, now that I'm done with all that, I'm supposed to leave my fellow seniors with some inspirational quote. Well, one of my favorites comes from the great Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can see yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. All these people have guided us along the path, but now it's time for us to choose what we'll do with our life. I hope for all of us, we choose wisely. But remember, though you may be moving on and leaving this place behind, you'll always have friends and family to help you along the way. Now I'd like to leave you with one final quote from a brave young explorer named Dora and her faithful companion. <laughs> we did it, we did it, we did it, yeah. Always see most, we did it. <laughs>